Never an issue for Sacramento. Their biggest issue right now is defense. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the game goes on. Ball is up. Game is on. De'Aaron Fox. And a one-handed pass. Nicely done by Halliburton. And work it over to Mo Hartless, who knocks down the three. Reggie Jackson into Zoo. Oh, this is what you want to see. Batum in the corner. That was his park place all of last year. For the Kings over Phoenix, beg your pardon. Barnes played very well in that game. Did a lot of that. Knocked down the three right there. Kings were 30th in the league in defense. But in the last 15 games, that sample size, they were middle of the pack. Three falls by De'Aaron Fox. You see Sacramento, I mean, Sacramento wants to get the ball up quickly. They can get it out because right there creates opportunity. De'Aaron Fox utilizes his offensive skill set. Fox struggled in that game on Monday, just 3 for 12, but he's hit both of his shots, both from behind the arc, which is a sight for sore eyes for Kings fans after he shot only 32%. Putting on weight, which is trying to say that Presto I had earlier is not clean. That's what you're trying to say. But putting on weight is how you put it on, and there's some weight right there. And again, we're going to see a lot of that. On Monday night, they had 62 shots at the rim, averaged only 22 a year ago. Good to see Paul George knock it down. One of the best on-ball defenders. In fact, if I quote Don McLean from our conversation earlier, the best on-ball defender he has ever seen. Bledsoe attacks, sidesteps defenders, floats it up, mm. and in, counted, and a foul. Holmes misses on the alley-oop for Sacramento. Jackson leads Bledsoe back the other way. Kings do a good job of getting back, but they forget that guy. What a pass. We were just talking about it. Bledsoe to Zoo. As he kind of shakes the rust off from the offseason. Halliburton with a runner. He, he he's, has a, a, he's a nice player. Nice. Mark Hughes, Paul George, and Reggie Jackson also have the score of 9-under. However... We let our caddy hit a couple of shots, but we had the same scores with Kennard. So I don't want to hear that he won going away. We were all nine under par. Terrence man lays it in. Last year, Bagley can hide a three-point line, but Rashawn Holmes kind of plays the role like Zubar George for the jump shot, but they just do what they do. Also, not just in-game adjustments, which he was phenomenal, but even during the series, as we saw, making lineup changes as Hartenstein flushes it in to start the second quarter. Keep the confidence. Man looks to attack on Len. Fades. Fires. Why don't, you? Why don't you? I mean, because now you're playing against the starters, it's a little bit different. That... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean during the regular season? Yes, correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell for three. Yeah, in 2006, good. 2005. Yeah. Figure out ways to stay on the team, keep passing the ball like that. Oh, beautiful. Nice play. <laughs> One Man. center to another. Right? Out dueling in terms of assists. Not... George picked up by Mitchell, having to really work. Awkward shot. <laughs> Bledsoe in overdrive. George gets to his spot and knocks it down. He just makes it look so easy. Len with a solid screen. Receives the ball, seductive ball fake around Zoo, count it and a foul. Playing alongside LeBron James. Barnes spins his way down the lane. A couple of tough buckets by Harrison Barnes. He played well, I mentioned, on Monday. With well, that was good defense by Reggie Jackson, but the size of Harrison Barnes won that battle. <laughs> okay, Reg, right back at you. I'll tell you what, Reggie's playing free. Batum all alone for three. Yes, Man with the rebound over Thompson lays it up and in. And Terrence Mann now. This is De'Aaron Fox. You better get in front of him and do your work early in transition. He gets into the pink, gets a clean look at the rim and knocks it down. De'Aaron Fox now is three for four and has ten points and a couple of assists. Meno, I think this year with Mitchell, Fox, Halliburton, his buddy Heald fit into that. Oh, what a great recovery there by Harkless. Another nice recovery. A good tap out that time by Nick Platoon. Jackson, a cleaner look and knocks it down. Reggie Jackson with his third bucket. He has seven. Really? I mean, why'd you look at me when you said that? No, no, seriously. You kind of gave me the shoulder nod. I like... just wanted to make sure. Halliburton. Fox explodes down the lane. Spoon feeds Thompson and lays it in. Fox kind of got from point A to point B. Quick yet, but long strides. And then he made the right play.
And the right play for Boston is to look at the front of the basket, see if he has an opening. Only King in double figures. Halliburton to Thompson. Bullies his way to the cup. Floats it up and in. And tons of experience. Well, they talked about when Iman Shumpert's beautiful backdoor cut to Coffee, who was percolating in the lane right there, waiting for it to get there. Fox turns the corner after the screen by Thompson. Gets deep into the paint, puts it deep into the well. 18 for De'Aaron Fox after struggling. And we saw a lot of wins when the Clippers were shorthanded because of that. Fox for three. This has been the missing color in his rainbow. And that's how you, you kind of get that beautiful shooting percentage in the backdoor cut. Kennard able to gobble up a tip pass. Fox, something you don't see walking it across the timeline, then puts on the overdrive and lays it in. As athletic as they get, yep. to be quite honest. Giles showing he's not a bad athlete. What a finish, what a drive. Clippers cut the lead down to one. Talking about Keon Johnson, an insane athlete. Talking with some of the coaches, said some of the best on-ball defense they have seen from a younger player. Created enough space where his defender gets in and maybe tip it away or take away that handoff. Mitchell attacks, hangs, oh, and hits. What an impressive play by the rookies. I'm okay to see Luka in the preseason. I don't want to see Luka in the postseason anymore. But he healed, converts wow. on a three. Barnes from the wing to the lane, dishes in the corner, a catch and shoot for healed, and now back to back threes for Buddy Heat. Dr. James Naismith <laughs> wrote the rules. It's a whoops the daisies. Now, when's the last time you heard somebody say that? <laughs> healed with a running rebound, two and a half to play in the third. Kings by a dozen. Mitchell steps back. He can hit that shot. Exhibit A right there. I, I like this young man. Davion Mitchell. Just put him on the court. He'll figure it out. Okay? You were saying? Yeah. I, it's just some guys have it. The Kings won the yep, summer league. Yep. That is now a thing. Mm -hmm. As Boston lets it go from 15 and knocks it down. Brandon Boston Jr. now with seven. He's one to watch. I think he is an outstanding pickup for Sacramento. Yep. Halliburton back the other way. Healed rises for three in transition. That's three threes for Buddy Healed. Avion Mitchell and also De'Aaron Fox. Halliburton back to Holmes. The patented little runner that he had. Offense has not been the issue over the years for Sacramento. It's the other side of the ball. But when you look at a guy like Mitchell, Tristan Thompson coming in as well. You have some real upgrades there. Mitchell knocks down the tray. Moses Wright, who had an impressive couple of sequences back on Monday. Brandon Boston sheds his defender, steps behind a three-point line and knocks it down. I don't know how many 19-year-olds can do that. Moments like this. We'll see what they do here in the final. 10-24. Davis separates and connects against Minnesota Monday. That game will be played in Ontario. Another giveaway for the Clippers, just their 13th after having 18 on Monday. Davis is playing very well here in this fourth quarter for Sacramento. By right. Thought that Davis had value right there. It's paid, it paid off. So he's not a young player. He's an exhibit 10 player for the Clippers. You know, it's interesting. I'm not a big baseball fan, even though I have a lot of friends that played. Actually, Gary Sheffield is my cousin. See Coffee right there lining it up for, for holding my ground, but it ended up paying off in the long run. Bagley with a nice move into the paint gets stripped, and then Davis, who has been as, in theory, on paper, you should expect a good start for the Clippers. But it remains to be seen. They got to put pen to paper yep. and figure it all out. New to the system, new to the league. Speaking of, Boston, late shot clock three. It is good. Under a minute to play, 113 to 93. Kings will improve to 2 and 0. Oh. Boston showing off the handles. <laughs> Your final score. 113 to 98.